Hi everyone, it's time to open the Book of the Month Club. This is for July. I got mine wicked early, so I'm excited to share this with you. So, I hope that you stick around and join me, and I'd love to hear what you picked this month. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to see you guys. Thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. I appreciate it so much. So thank you everyone from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. Your comments, of course, are always welcome thumbs up really helps my ch channel grow and help push it out into the YouTube world and who knows what it does right but anyway I appreciate all your likes all your comments it really does mean a lot to me so today we are doing the July book of the month club can you believe this is 4th of July weekend not sure when I'm going to post this yet but I already have my book of the month club for July I know crazy right so anyway being a member uh, last year I guess I've gone kind of over the threshold for buying a certain amount of books from the book of the month club and so they put me into the BFF so the best friends forever club or whatever so I got this really cool tote bag they gave me a free book or something like that that month and little did I know it but during your birthday month once you're a member of that you also get a free book which I did not know or I didn't realize or I forgot or whatever so anyway they did contact me and let me know that June was almost over I had already got my selections for the book of the month club for June and they noticed that I didn't use my credit to get a free book during my birthday month so what they did was give me the option to pick from July early so that I could add on the credit for my birthday free book so I'm excited to do that that just meant to get to ship early so let's kind of get into it so I just want to thank you guys so much and again um, book of the month club will be below my description if you do use my link I believe your first book is going to be five dollars I would get a credit for a free book and that is just really a great way to kind of build your library and when you get your book of the month club to maybe get a free one besides or we use that credit it's just it's just really fun i appreciate everyone that has used my link and it really really does mean a lot it's helping me get more into reading and exciting about it so anyway what i got over here which um i'm just feeling nostalgic you know our oldest daughter had her birthday on june 29th so i kind of wanted to dig out this picture well i didn't really have to dig too far it's on my one of my nightstands so this is probably from like 19 81 so you can tell sabrina the youngest one she's got the blonde hair and just all kinds of ringlets so i'm not sure if that's going to show out and then rena's had just uh, the straight straight hair and of course the 80s mustache rick had his mustache and yeah so just really fun i love looking at old pictures it's just so fun to have memories but anyway getting into the book of the month club so you do get to pick from different genres again once you're in the club and what if you've used my link or anybody else's link and you get that first book for five dollars after that it's fourteen dollars 99 cents shipping is free you do have the option of picking from their uh, library sometimes they open it up and if you don't and it's easy enough to just hit skip if you don't want to get one that month or sometimes they open it up and you can pick anything in their um, library and sometimes they'll only offer you like 10 or so other choices but usually there's something that you can get and if not then you just skip it and worry about it the next month so how I usually do these videos is I just kind of tell you about the other books that I had to choose from and then let you know the ones that I picked and again I've got two this month so anyway the first book that I could have chosen was a thriller I do love thrillers this was first born and it's uh, when her sister turn, turns up dead across the ocean a young woman is sent on an exhilarating search for answers. Sisters, soulmates, strangers. Molly Haven lives in a quiet, structured life in London, finding comfort in security and routine. Her identical twin, Katie, living in New York, is the exact opposite. Outgoing, spontaneous, and adventurous. But when Molly hears that Katie has died, possibly murdered, 
she is thrown into unfamiliar territory. As terrifying as it is, she knows she must travel across the ocean and find out what happened. But as she tracks her twin sister's final movements, cracks begin to emerge, and she slowly realizes her sister was not at who she thought she was, and there is a dangerous web of deceit surrounding the two of them. So that one did sound really good. Again, that was a thriller first born by Will Dean. The second one was a sci-fi. I have never read a sci-fi book that I know of, so I would love to hear if um, you've gotten into the sci-fi um, section type of books. So anyway, this one is called Upgrade by Blake Crouch. And it says, Logan Ramsey learns the hard way that sometimes evolution can be re Let's start that one over, shall we? Upgrade by Blake Couch. Logan Ramsey learns the hard way that sometimes evolution can be a real downgrade, if you're not careful. You are the next step in human evolution. At first, Logan Ramsey isn't sure if anything's different. He just feels a little sharper. He's better able to concentrate, better at multitasking, reading a bit faster, memorizing better, needing less sleep. But before he can't deny it, something is happening to his brain. To his body, he's starting to see the world and those around him, even though he loves the most in different ways. The truth is, Logan's genome has been hacked, and there's a reason he's been targeted for this upgrade. A reason that goes back decades to the darkest parts of his past and a horrific family legacy. Worse still, what's happening to him is just the first step in a much larger plan. One that will inflict the same changes on humanity at large at a terrifying cost. Because of his new abilities, Logan's the one person in the world who's capable of stopping what's been set in motion. But to have a chance at winning this war, He'll have to become something other than himself, maybe even something other than human. And even as he's fighting, he can't help wondering, what if humanity's only hope for the future really does lie in engineering of his own evolution? Intimate in scale, yet epic in scope, Upgrade is an intricate, plotted, lightning-fast tale that charts one man's thrilling transformation even as it asks us to ponder the limits of our humanity and our boundless potential. Anyway, it does sound interesting, but let me know if, um, and you know, and I know growing up with a brother who was into like sci-fi and Rick who was into sci-fi, I just kind of grew up on sci-fi movies and whatever, but I've never really read it, read that kind of genre before. So I'd love to hear your take on that. Next is, this one sounds really good too. So this is a romance. It's The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. So protect and serve, that's the job. But in this witty romance, the real question is, whose heart needs protecting? She's got his back. Hannah Brooks looks more like a kindergarten teacher than somebody who could kill you with a wine bottle opener or a ballpoint pen or a dinner napkin. But the truth is, she's an executive protective agent, AKA bodyguard. And she just got hired to protect superstar actor, Jack Stapleton from his middle-aged corgi breeding stalker. Interesting. He's got her heart. Jack Stapleton's a household name captured by paparazzi on beaches on the world over. Famous for among other things, rising out of the waves in all manner of clinging, board shorts and glistening like a Roman deity. But a few years back in the wake of a family tragedy, he dropped from the public eye and went off the grid. They've got a secret. When Jack's mom gets sick, he comes home to his family's Texas ranch to help out. Only one catch. He doesn't want his family to know about his stalker or the bodyguard thing. And so Hannah, against her will and her better judgment, finds herself pretending to be Jack's girlfriend as a cover, even though her ex, like a jerk, says no one will believe it. What could possibly go wrong? Hannah hardly believes it herself, but the more time she spends with Jack, the more real it all starts to seem. And there lies the heartbreak. 
because it's easy for Hannah to protect Jack, but protecting her own long neglected heart, that's the hardest thing she's ever done. So that does sound like a good book. Sounds like that could be a movie, right? Alrighty, this one, and um, I forgot to write down what genre it was, but it's called Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Seven. And this one sounds like a good book, but it's also um, how in the Book of the Month Club, they kind of tell you the synopsis of what the author says, what's going to be on like the book cover. And then this reviews in there by people that have read the book. Sometimes there are other authors, sometimes they're famous people. The review on this one, which I didn't write down, but it was uh, The Why I Love It by Emmy Rossum that you might know from Shameless. Um, she was in a televised version, I think, of Phantom of the Opera. She been on the New York Broadway stage so it's just really good to know that other people may have read this book so it does sound interesting so okay so it's a moving story of friendship and art making that will have you nostalgic for your favorite childhood video games I think back then I remember Mag was it Magnavox came out with Pong you remember seeing that on the 70s show where you just was back and forth and it was that that was it and then later Pac-Man came out and yeah so it was a while ago that games have really evolved, haven't they? But anyway, on a bitter cold day in December of his junior year at Harvard, Sam Massore exits a subway car and sees, amid the hordes of people waiting on the platform, Sadie Green. He calls her name. For a moment, she pretends she didn't hadn't heard him. But then she turns and a game begins. A legendary collaboration that will launch them into stardom. These friends, intimate since childhood, borrow money, beg favors, and before even graduating college, they have created their first blockbuster, Ichigo. Overnight, the world is theirs. Not even 25 years old, Sam and Sadie are brilliant, successful, and rich. But these qualities won't protect them from their own creative ambitions or the betrayals of their hearts. Spanning 30 years from Cambridge, Massachusetts to Venice Beach, California and lands in between and far beyond, Gabriel Zevin's Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow is a dazzling and intricately imagined novel that examines the multifarious nature of identity, disability, failure, the redemptive possibilities in play, and above all, our need to connect, to be loved and to love. Yes, it is a love story, but it's not one that you have read before. Alrighty, so now on to the ones that I picked. So you do get a bookmark in every box that you get. So this one says, take a break from reading to talk about us, to talk about reading. So I'm not sure what those things are. Maybe it's Spotify or something like that, or I don't know, but um, virtual book tour so maybe you can hear the reviews or maybe it's people talking about the books but anyway that sounds interesting and I love getting new bookmarks so anyway the first book that I picked out not pucked but picked out puck is for my cocky so it's called you're invited and this is in the July sections of the month and this one's a thriller so anyway the quick take on this is and it's a thriller you're invited by Amanda Jayatisa. So welcome to the wedding from hell. We've got lots, lost dresses, tabloids, private investigators, and an unexplained murder. When Amaya is invited to Kaiva's over-the-top wedding in Sri Lanka, she is surprised and a little hurt to hear from her former best friend after so many years of radio silence. But when Amaya learns that the groom is her very own ex-boyfriend. She is consumed by a single thought. She must, she must stop this wedding from happening, no matter the cost. But as week-long wedding celebrations begin and rumors about Amaya's past begin to swirl, she can't help but feel like she has a target on her back. When Kaiva goes missing and is presumed dead, all evidence points to Amaya. However, Nothing is as it seems as Jaytisa expertly unravels that each wedding guest has their own dark secret and agenda. And Amaya 
may not be the only one with a plan to keep the bride from getting her happily ever after. And I recently finished a book from Lucy Foley called The Guest List, which is kind of on the same idea about a wedding, there's a murder, and it's like there's so many different characters and they all have a reason for hating the groom and wanting him, you know, not living anymore. And so it's just how you go into the different stories and of the people and and then it's like the last person you even thought of that would could have committed it. So anyway, I love a good thriller. I love a book that kind of makes you think and get into it. So I am looking forward to this one. The next one that I picked out is called The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. And I read Home Before Dark by Riley Sager a few months ago absolutely loved that book it was like another thriller it was really really good so there's a couple of other books in that book of the month club by this author too so i would like to maybe get a few more of his or her books i forgot is it riley a female or a male he now lives in princeton new jersey riley is a man he's a gentleman Alrighty. so this book the house across the lake by riley Siger. So again, this one is a thriller and alcohol and binoculars are a potent pairing. Let the paranoia, let the paranoia guide you through the latest chiller from Riley Sager. So Casey Fletcher is a recently widowed actress trying to escape a streak of bad press. She has retreated to the peace and quiet of her family's lake house in Vermont. Armed with a pair of binoculars, and several bottles of liquor. She passes the time watching Tom and Catherine Royce, the glamorous couple who live in the house across the lake. They make for good viewing. A tech innovator, Tom is rich, and a former model, Catherine, is gorgeous. One day on the lake, Cassie saves Catherine from drowning, and the two strike up a budding friendship. But the more they get to know each other, and the longer Casey watches, the more it becomes clear that Catherine and Tom's marriage is not as perfect and as placid as it appears. When Catherine suddenly vanishes, Casey becomes consumed with finding out what happened to her. In the process, she uncovers eerie, darker truths that turn a tale of voyeurism and suspicion into a story of guilt, obsession, and how looks can be deceiving. With a trademark blend of sharp characters, psychological suspense, and gasp-worthy surprises, Riley Sager's The House Across the Lake unveils more than one twist that will shock readers until the very last page. So, uh, I don't even know where to begin. I am reading The La Hacienda now. I'm about almost halfway through that book and I am loving it and I just don't know what book I want to start on next it's like do I just line them up and go eeny meeny miny no pick Nancy's book by the binder or something I don't know but anyway I am exciting well I'm not exciting I'm excited to be getting back into the world of reading it's just really really fun and um I just loved escaping into a book at the end of the night even if I only get to read a chapter or a couple of paragraphs it's just really a nice way to unwind at the end of just staring at a computer for like 10 12 hours a day at work and then working trying to work on YouTube and watch videos and do some commenting so just reading a book to me it's relaxing of course sometimes it's late in the day by the time I start to read and I just kind of fall asleep but Every now and then, you get to a point that you just have to keep on reading till you can't stay awake anymore. It's exciting. So anyway, I would love to hear from you guys what books you picked this month, if you picked any at all, and what are you saying? some of your favorite reads. As you can tell, I'm starting to lose my voice. I think this video went a little bit longer than I anticipated. So I've got a way to go to be able to uh, get back to 100% again, but I am working on it. I'm trying not to do so many videos during the day and stuff like that, but it's, uh, it's a long road back for some of us. But anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping in and spending some time with me. It really means a lot to me. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Enjoy life. Be happy. So anyway, have fun, everybody.
catch you in the next video.